I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Random Pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. That's the first step to picking a hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. We have a flower, a pair of norths, red dragon, four, five, six, nine, and bams, two, three, four, nine, and cracks. We have a one, two in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on consecutive run, two through six. Here's two, three, four, four, five, six. We have a two here. We could do one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six. That leaves us with those tiles. I probably would keep the pair of norths and then I would break up the nines and probably let something here go. I think I would let the one go because we have lots of options between two through six. If we get a south, we could maybe even play north and south with a run and we have two choices. So I think that's how I would play this consecutive run. If you would have done something differently, Write pull one in the comment section below and let me know what you would do with these tiles. We have a green dragon, a pair of white dragons, one, three, four, seven in cracks, six, eight in dots, five, six, eight, nine in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would try to build around the multiple, which is this pair of white dragons. We could maybe try for a three, six, nine hand. There are some hands with dragons in that category that use the opposite dragon. I would still keep the six though. There is some potential for consecutive run with big numbers. So I probably would keep the eights and the seven. I think I would keep these tiles and let those go. Focus on three, six, nine, maybe with opposite dragons. If we get evens in dots, we could maybe play the concealed hand. I wouldn't actually pick a category. I would gather and try to use this white dragon. At the moment, the best option, I think, is 369. If these were your tiles and you would do something different, write pull two in the comment section below and let me know what you would do with these tiles.
We have a joker, flower, south, green, one, two in bams, two, seven, eight, nine in cracks with a pung of eights, one, six in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the eight. We could use flowers and lots of hands. With the rest of these tiles, I'd probably keep consecutive run. So I would keep the six. With that eight, we might even be able to do two eight dragon. So I think I would hold this dragon. Two eight dragon. We need a white dragon to make that work. So I would start by discarding those three. Play seven, eight, nine with flowers or maybe two, eight dragon. If we get in fives, we could do five, six, seven, eight. Whatever we play, I would use the eights. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull three in the comment section below and let me know what you would do with these tiles. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange them. I like to put my jokers first, then flowers, winds, and dragons. Next, put your suited tiles in numerical order. This will give you the lay of the land. If you have multiples, target multiples. Keep supporting tiles and play a category that will use most of your tiles. If you don't have a multiple, look for the predominant pattern. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.